You know what I mean? Yeah, Here we go. Alright. Alright, I got my alternator, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and it is belt driven. My belt is properly mounted and secured, nothing ripped, torn or frayed. There's no more than three quarters of an inch of free play from the center. My alternator wires are properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bolts, or cuts, and no exposed wires showing. Now I'm gonna go check the other side of my vehicle. Alright, it doesn't matter what order you do it, this is just my order. Alright, I got my coolant reservoir, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, there's no leaks and it's filled to the proper operating level. Both caps are on tightly. All hoses running to and from are properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges or cuts, and no leaks. My wires are properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges or cuts, and no exposed wire showing. I got my air compressor, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, no leaks, and it is gear driven. My air compressor lines are properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges or cuts, and no leaks. And you can't really see them, so just point, point back there. All right. I got my water pump, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, there's no leaks, and it is belt driven. My belt is properly mounted and secured, that the rip torn afraid, and there's no more than three, quarter, three quarters of an inch of free play from the center. All hoses running to and from my water pump are properly mounted and secured. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no leaks. All right, I got my oil filler tube, properly mounted and secured, and if the bin broken or cracked, no leaks, and the cap is on tight. I got my oil dipstick, properly mounted and secured, and if the bin broken or cracked. To check my oil level, I would take out my oil dipstick, wipe it clean, insert it back in, take it out to make sure it's at the proper operating level, insert it back in. All right, and you're gonna come over here. I got my power steering reservoir, properly mounted and secured, and if the bin broken or cracked, no leaks, and it's filled to the proper operating level. Both caps are on tightly. All hoses, all hoses running to and from are properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no leaks. I got my power steering pump, it's down here. If you follow the, the like the, uh, the hoses, it'll lead to it, like this one right here. But just point down there, that's all you want to do, is just know where it is. So I got my power steering pump, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, there's no leaks and it is gear driven. And then you're gonna come back here to your steering shaft. I got my steering shaft, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and there's no more than 10 degrees of free play on a 20 inch steering wheel. My steering gearbox is properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and there's no leaks. My three piece steering linkage is properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and it's held together by three castle nuts and cotter pins. And when you say that, just when you say like the three piece steering linkage, just point at each piece. So he knows there's three, because if you don't, he might try asking you like the names of all the pieces and then you're screwed, because gotcha. I don't even know all those. After you hit all that, you go to your suspension system, which is this, and this, and that. So you start with your front and rear leaf spring mounts. They're properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked. I got my leaf springs, probably mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and there's none missing or shifted. I got my U-bolts and saddle, probably mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked. And then I got my shock absorber and shock mounts. They're probably mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and there's no leaks. After you hit your suspension system, you come to your brake system. And I start right here and just go down to the bottom. But you got your airline, properly mounted and secured, no bridges, bulges, or cuts, and no leaks. My brake chamber, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and no leaks. I got my sock adjuster and push rod, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked. And to check my brake adjustments, I would pull on my sock adjuster to make sure there's no more than one inch of play while my brakes are released and my wheels are chopped. I got my brake drum, properly mounted and secured, and just point in the tire when you do that. You know what I mean? Just, just like point in there. All right. I got my brake drum, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and it's free of debris, grease, and oil. My brake pads are properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and they're free of debris, grease, and oil, and there's no less than a quarter inch of pad. After you hit that, you come to your tires. All right, and start with your rim. You can start with anything, but I like to start inside and come out. I got my inside and outside rim, properly mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked, and it's free of any illegal welds or holes. Inside and outside tire wall is properly sealed to the rim. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no leaks. I got my tire tread, it's evenly worn. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no leaks. And there's no less than 430 seconds of tread depth around the entire tire. All right. <laughs> I got my lug nuts, proper mounted and secured, nothing been broken or cracked. They're free of any shiny threads or rust trails, which would indicate that they're loose and they're all present. 
I got my hub still. It's properly mounted and secured. Nothing been broken or cracked. There's no leaks and it's filled to the proper operating level. And then you come over here. I got my valve stem. Properly mounted and secured. Nothing been broken or cracked. There's no leaks. And to check my tire pressure, I use a pressure gauge to make sure my manufacturer specs. And then make sure you tell them there's a metal cap on there. I got a metal cap secured tightly. As long as you say there's a metal cap on there, it's good. And that concludes the front.